Hey guys, I'm back again, and I wanted to give a quick little announcement or like insight in what I'm going to be doing for the holidays. I will be starting a holiday makeup tutorial series in help and hopefully helping you guys try out some makeup looks to do for Christmas, Christmas Eve, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, you know, any um, celebration or any holiday that you celebrate in the December months. Um, I hope you guys enjoy what I will be doing for you guys, you know. I will try to do at least two or three, and if not, maybe more, but there will definitely be at least two to three makeup looks in the series. Um, I just did this one. It is called the Gold Holiday Makeup Tutorial, and the products I'm using are very inexpensive and drugstore. It is the, I'm basically using the e.l.f. New Holiday Beauty Book Palette, um, the L'Oreal Telescopic. Uh, mascara and the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and what I like about that look is that it is is super inexpensive and super easy to recreate. Now, getting into the video, I wanted to do a review on a new palette, which is the Elf Beauty Book. It is five dollars, and you can get it at Walgreens, Target. Um, I don't think they have it at Walmart, but I know that they do sell Elf and Kmart. So if you do live by Kmart, I believe that this is in their beauty. Um, beauty section. Now it does come with an eyeliner. It's the Elf's Brightening Eyeliner. It comes with a spongy tip like this, the dual tip applicator. Now don't throw these out. You can, but my personal reference is to not throw these out because if they are, if there is some eyeshadows in your palettes that are a little bit drier than you would like and a little bit harder to, you know, use on your brush, these spongy tip applicators do hold a lot of product and it makes it easier for you to apply the shadow onto your eyelids. Now there is nine liners, I mean nine eyeshadows that look like this, they're very beautiful. There is one, two, three, four, five, six matte, I mean six shimmer to satin shadows and then there is one, two, two mattes and one semi matte, almost like a satin texture. Now I will be doing swatches. The first three are these right here. They don't have a name, but one's just a nice nudie champagne <coughs> matte brow bone highlighter. And the next one is a nice mauve or taupe brown, and then the next one is more of a lilac shimmer. And I will do a couple swatches for you guys. And I really love this palette because it is highly pigmented. I don't know if you can see that, but these are the, just the first three rows of shadows. That's what it looks like on my hand. the first three. Then the next are, it's more of a mauve pink. It is shimmery, just like the purple one right here. Then there's a gold, a nice liquid beautiful gold. And then the next one is a emerald green color, which is amazing and beautiful because I'm really into emerald shadows and this is a really nice one that I haven't seen in a palette recently. So I will do another swatch. And what I like about this is that you don't have to really like dig your finger in and try to get some color payoff. One swipe through the colors and you get <coughs> amazing color payoff. This is what the colors look like. This was the mauve shimmery pink. I don't know if the light is catching the shimmers in the shadow. Here's the nice liquid gold. Sorry, my fingers are shaking for some reason. And then here is that nice emerald green. Um, in the palette it does have a hint of shimmer, but it's a very finely milled gold. So it does have contrast and gives the green a little bit more depth. Um, here are the next shadows. And what I like about this green shadow is it does look duochrome. Like it does have a duo sheen to it. One way of hitting the light looks gold and then the next is like a nice dark green. <coughs> I'm sorry. I still have a sore throat from last week. Um, there's the green, the gold, and then the shimmer. Very beautiful and they do you know, catch the light in a very nice and amazing way. And then the next one is a nice medium skin tone blending color. I like to use it as a transition color because there are so many satin slash metallic, you know, shadows in here. I do like to use that as a, you know, a contour color or to mattify, give it different textures and depth to the eye look. So that's the skin tone one. This one is more of a satin brown with hints of gold shimmer in it very finely milled and then this one is more of a um, satin or
color cream. It's not really creamy like if you put it in your hands and it is like a cream shadow. It's not what that is. That's just really, it's a really soft taupe gray shadow which is perfect for any look because if you do have bright looks or bright colors in your eyes you can mute down the color and make it a more smoky color. It looks more like a smoky gray if that makes sense. And then I'm just going to do a couple swatches. And this gray is very pigmented. Like, I really recommend that you guys put your brush in really lightly just because it is so soft and so pigmented. So that's the um, skin tone, mid-skin tone blending color. Here is the brown with hints of gold shimmer. And then here is that gray I was talking about. As you can see, it is very, very pigmented. I almost took too much by accident, but it's a really amazing eyeshadow. I don't know if you can tell. Here is the gray, the brown, and the shimmer. As you can see, that's the gray right here. Very beautiful, very easy to work with, and it's perfect on any eye color, whether you have brown, gold, green, or blue eye, um, eye color. It does complement that very nicely. Here's the brown, and then here's the nude skin tone. I do have some, you know, some say on the product. I don't really like the eyeliner just because it is a little tough to work with at first so if you were to apply this on your waterline use a lighter if you have one just to heat it up a little bit so that's what the liner looks like on the hand now if you are or you know a person that really loves makeup but you don't know what type of shadows or what type of makeup they prefer I highly recommend this palette because it is very versatile and it is perfect for anybody who likes mattes, shattens satins or um you know hint of shimmer um shadows it is only five dollars so it's very affordable the eyeshadow quality quality is amazing nine shadows amazing size and the amazing color payoff as you can tell and this is without a base i don't have anything on my hand so this is what it looks like without a base and if you did apply it under like milk um jumbo pencil and milk it would make the colors pop even more and it the gold and the green work amazing under a black base um, <clears throat> I love the packaging it's very elegant and very glamorous it is a white and gold packaging very simple very easy it is magnetic it's cardboard and then in the inside it does have like a how to create this makeup look right here which I like because it gives you if you are a beginner this is perfect for you know trying out and if you are giving this to somebody it's not like you're coughing up a lot of money just to get somebody a really good product now <coughs> in this set they did have a lot of other things that I didn't get I just wanted to try this out first they did have nail polish sets for little travel size things with a brush they also had a eyelash curler mascara and a brush I believe so if you are interested in getting makeup for makeup lovers for Christmas those elf palettes are amazing to try out I highly recommend them I have no cons about the product so that was my review on the product I hope you guys enjoyed and please leave a like and comment down below what you'd like to see next and please subscribe it's free and it only takes a second all you have to do is hit the button and I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you next time bye